Guys, if you're doing a first point of contact, you're just establishing a relationship. I don't usually do a call to action, never. So another important element is calls to action. If you don't have calls to action down, and if you don't know how to actually do them, people don't actually respond. There's a reason why they're called calls to action. They make people respond. Acronym is CTA. So this is actually something that is very important for any marketer to work on. You have really two places where you can place a call to action on any ads, on your videos, on your images, on your carousels, on whatever you do on Facebook as an ad, whatever format that you use, you can put calls to action above the videos, about the formats, or below the videos or formats or images or whatever it is that you're selecting as a creative. There's two places. There's one official place that Facebook calls the CTA, which is the one that is under here that you can see right here on the preview that says shop now. Those ones, Facebook says, choose the action you want people to take when they see your ad. That's what they say right here. There's many different actions and it, this is going to vary also according to the objective that you select. Some of the objectives have more call to actions than other ones. Some of them have less. Like for example, if you have a send message, like you're looking for message replies, there's not gonna be a lot of call to actions. You can do, for example, like send me a message, send message, or you can do a learn more or a more info. But other than that, you're not gonna add the play a game or like request time or any of those. Like it's very basic. So depending on the objective, you're gonna select what your call to action is. Now, one word of caution. This is gonna be really cool. I've been looking at this for a long time and waiting for it for a very long time because it makes sense. Sometimes I wanna say something specifically in there and I cannot say it, like visit my shop or whatever it is. And whatever it is, I cannot select it because Facebook only lets me select one of the pre-populated call to actions that we have available here. So for example, on this example, we have like call to actions available. What can we choose? We got get show times, learn more, send message, play game, request time, see menu, shop now, sign up, watch more, listen now, apply now, book now. It's pretty much self-explanatory, right? Like if you wanna re, um, get some recruitment done and get people to your staff, so what do you do? Apply now. If you wanna get people to listen to your podcast, listen now. If you wanna get an appointment, for somebody to actually uh, schedule an appointment with you for a visit, for a phone consultation or whatever, you gotta book now. Let's say that you're in a medical office, book now. You can also do like a sign up for a webinar. Uh, if you do, for example, a C menu, it could be something about different options on a, a restaurant. That's something that will be really common for a restaurant. You wanna show the menu and the things that you have available on your actual website. Request time, very similar to actually uh, this one right here that says, this is very similar to the actual book now, right? There's some of them that are gonna be connected. What do we have down here? Contact us, donate now, download. This is, a, this is one that I use a lot, why? Because for example, like if I wanna send somebody to download a freebie on my actual ClickFunnels page, landing page, or even on my messenger, I can say like download. So it communicates very clearly if somebody wants to actually receive that document and they see that it says download, it's letting them know, all you gotta do is click on this button, this call to action that says download and I'm gonna be able to get access to that. Super, super simple. So that's a good one. Get offer is one that you actually can do consistently also. And especially if you're creating an offer inside Facebook or if you have an offer on your website that you're actually talking about on the actual listing itself. Okay, so that's actually something that is really cool. Uh, something that I'm gonna teach you guys later on is creating offers inside of Facebook. That's created at the ad set level. You can create a 20% offer online or in the actual store. Those are things that you can do. So for example, if you're running a special, let's say that you have, for example, a beauty salon, and you're running a special like 25% off, you can actually put a coupon code in there and somebody claims that coupon and walks into your actual uh, beauty salon and shows you the coupon and they're actually claiming it inside the actual store. Or you can do the same thing online store. There's many things you can do, even like distribution of like coupons uh, for like uh, your actual prospects, potential clients. Facebook is really powerful because they actually do emails for you and they send out notifications to actually help you promote your offer. Cool things that I'm gonna talk about that later on. 
Other things that you can do right here, for example, play a game, send message is one that I'm really pushing on right now, obviously, uh, generate uh, subscribers on your messenger, learn more, etc. right? So those are the main ones that you can select here. What do I recommend? What is the best practice when it comes to calls to action? Evaluate your message. Think about what call to action will get a person to act more. What makes more sense for your ad? In this particular example that I have right here, what am I saying? I'm saying that you can get Magic Mac um, and get it at your doorstep within two days. Well, what is the most logical one? Shop now. Go and shop right now, right? So now I can send somebody directly to, after pressing that button, to the shop to go and purchase. And it's not a secret that I'm trying to get them to buy stuff, okay? So that's one call to action. And the other one is gonna be above the actual image or video. On those ones, you can play around. I always put them in there. Guys, if you're doing a first point of contact, you're just establishing a relationship. I don't usually do a call to action, never. If I'm gonna do a video, I don't do a call to action because when you do calls to action, it's something that in general is making you look like a salesman, which is fine because you're trying to make somebody else's lives better with your product. So that works. But ideally on the funnel, on the first video that you put out there, then you actually just provide value. You don't have any links to your website, any uh, call to action buttons or anything like that. But then on the retargeting funnel, like this one, for example, people that are already seeing my messages, I can say call to actions, like click here to shop now, um, visit now, shop now, learn more about my product, etc. Whatever makes sense for your actual ad, for actual audience also, is what you put in there. Because people are gonna respond based on what you want them to do. If you don't ask them to do anything, it's not gonna happen. It's like, for example, at my house every day, like on Wednesday nights, I know for, for a fact, doesn't matter how many times I say it to my son, that if I don't ask him to go put the trash out, he doesn't go. But if I say, son, remember today's Wednesday, trash comes out tomorrow, then he will and do it right away without complaining. So call to actions, make people do stuff. It is important. Basically, what do we do? Call to action above, text with, with a link, and then call to action below. You can play around with them in your text and figure out which one works the best.